Shalom, Akiyam. I want to give all praise and honor to the Most High and the Son, Yahweh, Hua, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the elders at Great Millstone. And honors to you brothers out there that are in the camps. And um, got another video I want to go into today. And just a little while ago, I was watching this video, which you see on screen, which is a part one to Elder Gabar going in to the Gentiles. All right. And they're, they're, they're t going in on the Romans, the 10th chapter. Okay. And he mentions two types of Gentiles in this video, near the beginning of the video. You have unnatural Gentiles and natural Gentiles. The unnatural Gentiles are Israelites. And then the natural Gentiles are the heathens, the actual other nations. All right. Elam, Japheth, Ishmael, so on, Ham, so on, so forth. All right. So, when you look into the uh, uh, um, video, like I said, he's basically going into separating who are the Gentiles in certain in, in this chapter in Romans the tenth chapter, and then you go into who the the uh, Gentiles are as in other verses in the Bible. Now, when I scroll down to check the comments, you have this clown who looks like he's an IUIC member, one of Nate's clowns, or he just uses the same. Um, avatar but this is dude upstate Israelite who if I'm not mistaken he was uh, 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 kicked out of a camp not too long ago which this is funny because he has the 12 tribes right here and he has the actual 12 tribes alright Israel Judah Benjamin Levi Ephraim Simeon Naphtali Issachar Manasseh Asher Reuben Gad and Zebulon he has the 12 tribes but look what he's trying to say right here he says, <clears throat> why do they refuse to go into Isaiah 56? Wake up, cult members. Okay? Now, I pretty much saw what he was getting at. Because when you read Isaiah 56, which is a short chapter, and we're going to go into it in this video. He's basically trying to get you, he's trying to uh, push this, this doctrine that the other nations are going to be saved. Alright? And that's not the case. All it takes is a little looking into certain words and a little reading and breaking down the chapter correctly to understand that the people in this chapter we're about to go into that he mentioned are Israelites. All right. So let's go ahead and read. It says Isaiah the 56th chapter, the first verse. And like I said, this isn't a very long chapter, so we're going to read the whole thing. It says, Thus saith the Lord, Keep ye judgment and do justice, for my salvation is near to come and my righteousness to be revealed bless the man that doeth this and the son of man that layeth hold on it and that keepeth the sabbath from polluting it and keepeth his hand from doing any evil neither let the son of the stranger that have joined himself to the lord speak saying the lord hath utterly separated me from his people neither let the eunuch say behold i'm a dry tree so this is the word that he's trying to get at all right and this is the word that most of those clowns who say that the other nations can be saved try to get at. It's either stranger or Gentile. Okay? But when you just keep reading this chapter, it makes it very clear that the strangers in here will be talking about Israelites. Alright? Israelite foreigners. Okay? So let's keep reading. Verse 4. For thus saith the Lord unto the eunuchs that keep my Sabbaths and choose the things that please me and take hold of my covenant. Even unto them will I give in mine house and within my walls a place and a name better than the sons and do and of daughters. And I'll give them an everlasting name that shall not be cut off. Let me scroll down. Verse 6. <clears throat> also the sons of the stranger that join themselves to the Lord to serve them and to love the name of the Lord to, to be his servants. Everyone that keepeth the Sabbath from polluting it and taketh hold of my covenant now this is talking about the stranger right even to them will I bring to my house to my holy mountain and make them joyful in my house of prayer their burnt offerings and their sacrifices shall be accepted upon my altar for mine house shall be called a house of prayer for all people okay uh, let me actually read verse 8 the Lord God which gathereth the outcasts of Israel saith 
yet will I gather others to him besides those that are gathered unto him so when you come up here it's talking about the strangers in verse 6 all right now according to this guy back here on the comment of Elder Gabar's video you would think well, wait a minute that's talking about the other nations because after all that is the subject matter of this video that Elder Gabar did all right so when you read verse 7 it says even unto them will I bring to my holy mountain and make them joyful in mine house of prayer so you mean to tell me that the Lord is gonna make a Moabite or a Hamite or an Elamite joyful in his house of prayer and in his holy mountain because according to the scriptures we're gonna have all the other nations under subjection all right according to Isaiah the 14th chapter we're gonna have all these other nations under subjection under slavery all right revelation the, the second chapter which I believe that's the, what Elder Gabar read in his video so when you try to say that the other nations are going to be saved and the other nations are what this chapter is talking about it proves that you don't know the scriptures alright and that proves that the, the Most High is not working with you to open up your mind to dig a little deeper to see and figure out that this is talking about our people and not the other nations alright now I already have pulled up here in the next tab word stranger alright and it's Nakar alright it's Nakar when we go into the definition it says foreign alien foreignness that which is foreign foreignness foreign gods alien foreigner foreigner all right so it's talking about a foreigner that's what simply means all right someone of you would think that it's talking about someone of another nation in this point in this chapter but let's go into the root word right there all right when we go into the root of that word in the car what does it say it says to recognize acknowledge know respect discern regard wait a minute so you mean to tell me that the most high is respecting and regarding acknowledging the other nations according to Amos the first chapter which you know what let's go ahead and get it uh, pulled up but it's, I mean not Amos the first chapter Amos the third chapter <laughs> let's read Amos 3 real quick it says Amos 3 verse 1 hear this word Salakia let me fix this madness Amos 3 and 1 hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you O children of Israel against the whole family which are brought up from the land of Egypt saying you only have I known of all the families of the earth therefore will I punish you therefore I will punish you for all your iniquities wait a minute so it's saying right here that the most high has only known us of all the families of the earth of all the other nations of every single nation on the planet earth the most high only recognizes or acknowledges all right or shows respect unto his nation Israel in particular the chosen the elect all right it's not talking about another nation it's not talking about a gook all right it's not talking about a Hamite all right, it's not talking about an Edomite. It's only talking about the nation of Israel. Point blank, period. Okay, let's go here to Genesis 15 and 13 because this is the, this is in the prophecy. All right, before this whole the 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 uh, um um Israelite foreigner, before there was even a such thing as an Israelite, this was written in the prophecy that this would happen. Okay, it says here. Genesis 15 and 13 and he said unto Abraham Abram which would later be known as Abraham know of a surety that thy seed now wait a minute you have the patriarchs right the, the fathers of promise you have Abraham all right Isaac and Jacob and then Jacob will bring forth 12 patriarchs all right so that's his seed he's talking about the seed is talking about the 12 tribes of Israel it says here and he said unto Abram know of a surety that thy seed shall be a stranger in a land that is not theirs and shall serve them and they shall afflict them four hundred years so wait a minute the Most High told Abraham that his seed which consists of uh, uh, Isaac Jacob and the twelve tribes that they would be strangers in a land that's not theirs and when you keep reading right here in verse 14 
it says and also that nation whom they shall serve will I judge and afterwards they shall come out with great substance it's talking about back during the time of Egypt because we were in that land and we served captivity under the Egyptians 400 years all right and then we spoil it says, the scripture says we spoiled the Egyptians and we left uh, um, during the time of Moses okay and it says that we dwelt as strangers in that land all right but he's only talking about the nation of Israel all right clearly the most high was speaking to Abraham he wasn't speaking to to, to Ham all right or Japheth all right or some other nation he wasn't speaking no he was speaking to Abraham and he said thy seed shall be strangers in that land all right and then when you go to Galatians the third chapter it says not as the seeds of many but as the seeds of one and thy seed which is Christ well whose line did Christ Yahweh Shai come through Abraham Isaac Jacob the nation of Israel all right so let's keep going here all right it says here Ephesians 2 verse 12 it says that at times past you were without Christ or Yahweh Shai being aliens from the commonwealth of Israel and strangers from the covenants of promise having no hope without the most high in the world now, wait a minute what does that mean let me actually read up one verse <clears throat> Ephesians 2 and 11 it says wherefore remember that ye being in times past Gentiles in the flesh who are called uncircumcision by that which is called circumcision in the flesh made by hands that ye were without Christ Yahweh Shai being aliens from the commonwealth of Israel and strangers from the covenants of promise having no hope without the most high in the world wait a minute who's Paul talking about when he or to when he's talking to the Ephesians the Ephesians he was talking to the Israelites that are in Ephesus all right just like all the other epistles that are written to the churches in Asia, back there in Asia Minor all right and in Greece and in Rome all right, which is like these other couple of precepts we got left. We're going to go into that. He was talking to the Israelites. He wasn't talking to other nations. All right, he says that we were strangers. All right, from the common, uh, strangers from the covenants of the promise and aliens from the commonwealth of Israel, because we went off from following the law, statutes, and commandments of the heavenly Father, and served other gods. That's what made us strangers and aliens to the commonwealth of Israel. All right, we are those strangers, and we're those uh, uh, Gentiles, just like us that came into the truth this, on this side. Before we we weren't born into the truth. I personally only came, only came into the truth what seven years ago. All right, beforehand that what does that mean? Beforehand I wasn't an Israelite. No, it just means I was a stranger. I didn't. I was without the laws and the statutes and the commandments. I was going to church and doing whatever the hell that I felt like doing. All right, but now, since uh, uh, late 2007, early 2008, uh, found GMS, and then here I'm, am in the truth. All right, so that's what it's talking about: being a stranger and being a Gentile when you're not with the Heavenly Father. Okay, let's read this next scripture real quick. We got here. This is Romans 9 and 1 to set up this last precept we have in First Corinthians. <clears throat> it says here, I say the truth in, in Yahweh Shai, I lie not my conscience also bearing me witness in the Holy Ghost so Paul's telling he's basically saying look I'm telling you the truth what I'm about to say is the truth okay that I have great heaviness and continual sorrow in my heart for I could wish that while I were accursed from Yahweh Shai for my brethren alright this that that remember this word right here for my brethren my kins, kinsmen according to the flesh who are Israelites to whom pertaineth the adoption and the glory and the covenants and the giving of the law and the service of the Most High and the promises whose are the fathers and of whom concerning the flesh Yahweh Shai came who is over all the Most High the Most High blessed forever Amen alright Amen so let's come all the way back up here to verse 3 it says my brethren alright my kinsmen according to the flesh and he says clearly who are Israelites he's not talking about uh, who, who, who are who are uh, 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 Amalekites who are Japhites alright who are uh, the, 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 the seed of Ash, uh, uh, um, um, Ashur 
or the Hagarenes, all right, it's talking about the Israelites, all right? So remember, he said brethren up here, all right? This is Paul speaking to the, 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 the children of Israel that are in Rome, all right? It says here, 1 Corinthians 12 and 1, now concerning spiritual gifts, brethren, the same brethren, they just have, these are in Corinth, Greece, as opposed to Rome, but they're all Israelites, okay? Now concerning spiritual gifts, brethren, I would not have you ignorant. Ye know that ye were Gentiles carried away unto these dumb idols, even as ye were led. So that's plain. It doesn't take much explaining at all to see that those people who Paul was speaking to were Israelites. All right? And going all the way back to Isaiah, the 56th chapter, here. And the stranger that shall join themselves unto the Lord to serve him and to, and to love the name of the Lord to, hit, to be his servants, everyone that keepeth his Sabbath, keepeth the Sabbath from polluting it and taketh hold of my covenant, covenant, even them will I bring to my Father holy mountain and make them joyful in the house of prayer, of my prayer. So like, let me start over. Even them will I bring to my holy mountain and make them joyful in my house of prayer. Their burnt offerings and their sacrifices shall be accepted upon mine altar. For mine house shall be called the house of prayer for all people. So he's going to make them joyful in that house. Those same brethren who pertain to the adoption and the covenants and the law. Those same people are going to be the ones that are brought into the holy mountain. Not the other nations. All right. And then like when we read the last verse again, which we read earlier, it says the Lord God, which gathereth the house, the gather the outcast of Israel saith yet I will gather others unto him besides those that are gathered unto them unto him all right so it's this this chapter is only talking about the Israelites all right the most high is only concerned with Abraham Isaac and Jacob those are the only ones that are given the promises and the covenants and the laws all right those are the only ones that, that will inherit the blessings from the Heavenly Father. All the other nations are going to inherit slavery. They're not going to have any part in the kingdom except to build it up. All right? They had their time on this side, and in the kingdom, the elect of the nation of Israel are going to have the, the it's going to be our time. Lord willing, we're all of that number. Okay? So, Lord willing, this is edifying to you that watch to the next show or the next video. Shalom.